You know, Mexicans have always given uh, Jesus a hard time, and so I think it's time to introduce Jesus to the Marvel verse, not directly, just in the Wolverine movie, a woman, you know, he's talking to her at the, uh, one of those micro temples, churches, where they're super tall and small, and inside, you know, they have the crucified Jesus sculptures with the blood and everything that are terrific, and she just says to him, the universe... you know, is at the very end of the precipice. Uh, I don't know the exact words. I'm just trying to think through my concepts here. Uh, what did you say? Oh, I just said, a savior is chosen by the people to do the people's work and will. Yeah. So, um, the concept here is that the when she's saying that, you can have uh, the camera look around the church and show that around the crosses with, you know, Jesus on them are these big vines, artwork spiraling around the whole church up to the top to a pinnacle peak twist point with more vines on one side than the other. But the side where there's less, they're much thicker to make up for how there's not as many as people's bodies are through the Jesus vine universe they're living within. And so that needs to be represented right there in the Marvel verse because we're already getting into how everything's breaking apart and scenes and reality are appearing. Because when I walk outside, I'm just basing all of this off of what I see. Uh, stars disappear, they move around, but what's most strange and prevalent these days in the sky I see is lines of stars, often in couple groups, two or four or eight, all working together to hold different angles of geometrics as something as the universe shifts around so i'm just trying to represent that in the marvel of the movies because everybody takes them super serious so i guess we need to apply that in the wolverine movie because it seems to fit there yeah